everybody, being Romo here at the Red Arrow on this wonderful day. I just thought I'd show you today uh, a few simple mods that you can do to your vehicle. Uh, basically the idea was that um, a lot of the mods that you can get are quite expensive, but sometimes they're quite easy to make. For the Blue Mini, um, I bought a cold air intake um, and that was quite pricey. Now, every part here you see I uh, bought separately and I, uh, I also made the shroud that the uh, battery is connected to there, this uh, metal thing. Cohen is a little short, yes. Um, I am using a repaired intake pipe. Basically it's just a piece of metal. I cut it to the size of the one that's on the Blue Mini and I uh, sprayed it with truck bed liner. I just uh, cut out little sections and uh, drilled some holes in the right places and uh, y you know use the other one like a uh, stencil and it fits in there obviously I can get something bigger um, but that's uh, good for now. I want to show you just something I did actually buy I didn't make it the rear wing um, and of course yes I do have Union Jack duct tape why would I not? Uh, this is just covering holes of the stock um, spoiler holes. This uh, this is an eBay wing. It is 40 bucks. It is sturdy. Um, it is not going to create a lot of downforce, but that's not what it's for. It's for a little bit of drag reduction. I mean, this is a you know, this is a 1.6 liter engine with just over 160 horsepower. So it's not a lot of power. So I don't want to kill the power with a lot of downforce. And that's why eventually I'm not even going to put in on a front splitter or anything like that. Um, the stock one will do just fine. And while the ring comes down outside, um, what I'm going to show you is just inside here. Um, I have no steering wheel um, and the indicators and everything are up there. Um, but what I'm going to do is I am going to plug this in. This is very simple. Um, this is off of eBay. There's nothing attached to it right now. Um, but this is uh, going to be a few switches and obviously a push button start. So um, of course I'm going to figure out how that works with the, uh, the current key system. But I'm going to use uh, these for the different stages. Um, obviously, this will be some sort of kill switch. Um, and then this will be the engine start, and then a few other buttons here. I'm um, trying to decide what to do with all of these. But there'll be a few stages, obviously, when you turn the key in different stages, it gives you different things. And I'm hoping to replicate that with that. Um, but, you know, it's a lot of wiring, so. Since the rain isn't going to stop, what I'll do is I'll cut to the uh, previous thing. So, uh, Manomoto did come and help with the, uh, the spoiler, the rear wing, um, but he also came and helped with the brake cooling ducts. Um, so, as you can see here from the uh, previous video, um, we put the cooling ducts in there. It didn't happen exactly how we wanted it to go. Um, we wanted to wrap it around the back of the wheel. Um, it's just obviously on a mini, there's no space. So um, they are very, uh, you know, basic ducts. It just goes through the fog light hole and then into the back of the wheel well. It does work. It's not as effective as the direct ducting, but it will do for the job that I need. Um, most sport, you don't really use a lot of brake. Um, they don't heat up that much. Um, places like Shannonville, Calabogie. Um, they'll start to heat up more and especially uh, Cayuga, which is obviously a lot of straights, but a lot of hard braking as well. Hello! Mano Moto is here. So the entire front is off the car. And um, basically, we're running through that hole into this section. Replace those eventually, we disgusting. We've taken out the light here, so as you can see, we've got a big open hole. Mike's about to stick it in. Stick it in for me, Mike. Are you in? It's very basic. Um, it doesn't directly go onto the brakes, but the inlet is there, and it'll go through the uh, that little hole just there. So the inlet's there, and it just puts air through the end of that tube there. You can see it uh, just in the general area of the brakes. There's just not enough space to be able to get it to loop round um, this one's a little bit longer but there's just not enough space on this car yeah. 